right away i lost my appetite i was thinking how can i be eating when somebody is in this type of condition i need you to pay attention to this video for just the few minutes that we have to present this case to you my name is mary sunday i am motorio's lesson teacher Trial here is my student. It has been a while. She has been away from school and we wondered. I got to know that a surgery was carried on on her and she has been confined to the hospital for a while. And um, there is a lot of deaths on ground. The, the medication fee, the surgery fee, and the bed and many other ones. So when we calculate the money, it's amounted to a lot sum, and I don't have such amount. So I came across, I've been following Mom Joy Ejeri for a while, and I thought of emailing her to get a story to her. This is not a ward in the hospital. This is a place for the cleaner and the security. And I learned that People stay here. People that are unable to pay their hospital bill are taken to this place for the time being until they are able to clear the bill. This is where she sleeps. She sleeps on this place with her mom. And I learned that the other people that were here with her have all gone, saying they were able to pay their fee, but she's still here. And it has been a while now. I came today to see her. She looks so maltreated, and I feel so sorry for her. Please help Monterio. Please help her. She needs your help. She says she wants to go back to school. She wants to eat well. She wants to become fine again. She wants to go home. She wants to leave this place. A young 15, 16 years old who was supposed to be in school can be kept as a prisoner and a hospital on the bare floor exposed to danger because she was somewhere that the janitor, the security, whoever, that is where they put her, a young little girl like that. She was not feeding well. I, I don't even want to go into all that because it's so disheartening. We've come to the hospital to get material out and we need to pay the necessary bill. So here we have, we want to do that now. Okay. I will pay the necessary B and these are the receipts. Oh yeah. Jesus love you, I care. Thank you so much. I'm going home. Thank you. So after clearing Montorio's hospital bill, we told her Tisha to follow her back home and to assess her living condition. And of course, when she came back, the report was not good. She brought us the video and everything. And we noticed her mom, her dad, and the rest of her siblings, they were all in one room. Hey, man, she, man, she, she can There was no privacy. Husband and wife had no privacy. Children had no privacy. And they barely had things to eat and all that. So right away, whatever was left in the charity fund, we started building next door. Next door, the roof was open. Uh, it was not a good condition that was livable. So we made it livable. Fix up the roof, fix up the flooring. Whatever we could do, we did to make it comfortable for the other children to at least have privacy uh, to move next door. And then, of course, husband and wife can have more privacy. We also bought them this canopy and a share where she can do her trading. She sells provision for a living. We had no provision because financially the charity could not continue. And this is where you come in, the viewers, new partners, and all our usual donors. We need you to provide the fund so we can go back and buy the mom 
all the provisions she need the rice the the beans the oil the maggi all those things so she can be stable we need a family to be stable yes she does have a husband but the husband also have a menial job that is barely providing for the family so we need to stabilize them we don't just want to give them bread for one week we want to teach them to fish by themselves and that is by ensuring before we hands up the case that the family is well grounded and they have a good business that can sustain them in case somebody gets sick again in case any condition that uh, come against the family they can stand financially so please i need you to arise and donate to this case until next time jesus loves you and yes i care you care that's why we reach out to those in need i'll see you all bye bye